So into the arena is the arrival of the iconic figure of Julio Cesar La Cruz. Five-time IBA World Championship gold medalist. Over the course of what has been a glittering career, the two-time reigning Olympic champion preparing to face and off now, against a familiar rival. For your main event of the evening and your concluding bout here at your IBA Champions Night. Ladies and gentlemen, he fights out of the goal corner. Dabro Pajalovic, Damai Gaspada, Papri Vesfuyem, is Dagestana, Rasia, Muslim, Khadshi, Madame On approaching the boxing ring is the reigning two-time IBA world champion picking up his second heavyweight title at the addition in Tashkent to Uzbekistan earlier this summer. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to face off against Julio Cesar La Cruz for the evening. third time. Your main event of the evening comes to you live tonight on Pirvit Canal, exclusively for your IBA Champions Night. Come to you from the heart of global boxing, right here is Serpukov, Russia. Your main event of the evening is proudly brought to you by the visionary guidance, right here from our esteemed president, Mr. Umar Nazarovich Kremlin, and it's out by our friends at Patriot Boxing. Without further ado, the time is now. This is your main event of the evening. Your five judges being represented here tonight ringside from Serbia, Kyrgyzstan, Moldova, Azerbaijan, and finally the United Arab Emirates. And when the action begins, your sixth official in the center of the ring by the bell, representing the IBA at the home of global boxing by way of Tajikistan with referee Mansur Mohidinov. Now, this is truly the moment you've all been waiting for. Come you live tonight from the global home of boxing, Isyapukov, Russia. Let the fit fly. Five three-minute rounds. We introduce you first. Fighting out of the black corner. Tonight he enters the ring. An orthodox fighter standing at a height of 182 centimeters tall, 5 foot 11 inches big, weighing in officially 90 punto 65 kg, 91.65 kg, presenting Damas y Gabrieros, a cinco versas, champion de pesos, pesada, moscalino, de la IBA, your 2011, 2013, 2015, 2017, and 2021. He is the two-time back-to-back -back 2016 Rio de Janeiro, 2020 Tokyo Olympic gold medalist representando a Camoe de la Cuba, La Sombra, Julio La Cruz. And now his opponent fighting out of the gold corner. Tonight he enters the ring, 26 years old, an orthodox fighter, standing at a height of 194 centimeters tall, coming in at 6.4 feet. His official weight, David Notsta da Adin Kilograma, Ishe Sot Petisiat Gram, Damai Gaspada, on Va Champion Mira for Vesia IBA, Vitti Jolom, Vesia, the 2019 Yekaterinburg IBA heavyweight and the reigning. 2023 20, IBA Elite Men's Heavyweight Champion of the World. The proposal is is Machkala Dagestan Russia Muslim Gaji Maga Medo. The stage is set. Our fighters are ready. Referee Mansur Mohidinov will now be giving his final instructions to the boxers. Head up. No low blow. No holding. Shake hands. Good luck. 
So there, the tail of the tape, you see the considerable advantage in height enjoyed by the reigning IBA world champion in the heavyweight division. Muslim Gaji Magomedov, 1.94 meters tall. Despite what that graphic said, Julio Cesar La Cruz, 1.82 meters tall. Man who enjoyed so much success at light heavyweight, now campaigning as a heavyweight. And for the third time, these two world-class boxers are facing off this for the first time over the format of five three-minute rounds. The boxer wearing black, trimmed with gold, is Julio Cesar La Cruz, the two-time reigning Olympic champion, having secured back-to-back -back Olympic titles in Rio 2016 at light heavyweight for his first Olympic crown, and then up at heavyweight in Tokyo 2021 for his second Olympic title. The man wearing the white trunks trimmed with gold, the taller figure secured his second IBA World Championship gold medal at the addition in Tashkent, Uzbekistan earlier this summer. Been privileged to be ringside and watch so many of these men's successes over the years. Nimgaji Magomedov has produced what probably best described as fighting talk this week. He said, I know what to expect from Julio Cesar La Cruz. He's a difficult opponent because he avoids the real fight. And that is because Julio Cesar La Cruz has mastered the art of hitting without being hit. So flexible in and around his waist, his radar to pull that head back and avoid shots. And you see how he turned his body to allow that attempted body shot to glance at best and not land solidly. And then, despite having a tremendous disadvantage in terms of height and reach up at heavyweight, He's still able to peck and poke and pile up the points, particularly with that lead left hand. Wonderful boxer, dominant figure on the global scene. And when he secured that fifth world title in the Star Arena in Belgrade, as he scores with a corkscrew left hand, then makes Gadji Magomedov fall short with an attempted one-two combination. Well, he moved to second all time on, oh, that's a good left hand from Magim, Gaji Magomedov as he looked to follow up with the right cross as well. But by accumulating five world titles as he's tagged by a left hook, La Cruz, and that draws him into a fight. We're having exchanges here. This is Muslim Gaji Magomedov tactic. But La Cruz invariably so difficult to tag cleanly and almost impossible to tag consistently. You might catch him with one, but it's almost unheard of for him to be tagged with more than one shot during the course of an attempted combination from his opponent. But by accumulating five gold medals in 2011, 13, 15, 17, and 2021, only the iconic figure of his compatriot, Felix Savon, leads him with six gold medals. He missed out, losing at the quarter-final stage in Uzbekistan earlier this summer but he still has plenty of ambition and determination to represent Cuba on the global stage. That a competitive opening round. Less floating around the boxing ring from La Cruz than we've become accustomed to seeing from him. Standing his ground and relying on those reflexes. Gaji Magomedov did have some successes catching Julio Cesar La Cruz. It was a very competitive opening three minutes of boxing. Some of the action from that first round. There is La Cruz boxing in a nutshell, scoring with two jabs while taking a glancing jab at best in response. So comfortable, making the man miss, and then invariably comes back to make them pay, although he couldn't during that particular sequence. But there was the good left hand from Gaji Magomedov. But look at how defensively responsible La, La Cruz remained, tucking his chin behind his shoulder and bending that back like a piece of bamboo once again. So into the second round then, in this rematch of the Tokyo Olympic final up at heavyweight. Remember, Gaji Magomedov was the Olympic champ, the reigning world champion going into that gold medal bout. It was the first global competition for 
La Cruz after coming away with a bronze in the 2019 World Championships. There he scores with the right hand lead and increases the distance between himself and his opponent. And then a hard right hand driven into the body from La Cruz. But in that first global competition as a heavyweight boxer, he completely bamboozled what, who was the then reigning world champion, Gadji Magomedov, who's looking for success there and then does land a right hand. He's just caught the attention of La Cruz before he initiated a clinch, forcing the intervention of the referee, Mansour Muidinov. But it was a masterful display to claim his second Olympic bronze. Right hand to the body, left, and then a left jab from La Cruz. It was ringside in the Haydar Aliyev concert complex in Baku in 2011 when this man claimed his first world title with a masterful display over the course of that championship run, beating Adelbek Nayazimbetov. And again, because he's been so dominant, he's produced some terrific rivalries, including against the man he's in the ring with now, but against Adelbek Nayazimbetov, Joe Ward of Ireland, so many outstanding 81 kilogram boxers were frustrated and denied in their ambitions to take top spot on the podium because of his preeminence again hitting and moving without reply once more dodging and darting in the pocket and coming back with a right cross after a little bit of showboating as if to say to Gaji Magomedov listen I might be a little bit older I might be 34 years of age now but you still can't tag me cleanly on a consistent basis making Muslim Gazi Majumedov miss and then scoring with pecking poking singles getting onto the front foot now backing up his taller opponent scoring with a right hand over the top that came behind a left jab and his radar working wonderfully in this second round Julio Cesar La Cruz as he continues to bend and bob and weave like a character from the Matrix, Matrix to make his man miss and he's asking for encouragement for the crowd. He's asking for them to show some encouragement for his defensive mastery. That has been the hallmark of his preeminence and pugilistic prowess for so long. Absolutely superb demonstration. And it's always a high wire act because he boxes, because his radar is such that punches miss by millimeters. On rare occasions, he is caught flush. Remember Josh Boatsy, who's got a fight coming up with Dan Aziz for the European light heavyweight title in a few weeks' time. He put him on the floor at the 2015 World Championships in Doha. And Khalil Ko deposited him on the floor in the 2018 Chemistry Cup in Halle. The referee stopped it when La Cruz got back to his feet. A little bit of a premature stoppage from my perspective, but the result stands. KO1 for Khalil Ko, but again, that is how rare it is for Julio Cesar La Cruz to be tagged cleanly, and he exhibited, he exhibited his ability to make men miss exquisitely during the course of that second round, and then making him pay with eye-catching pot shots such as that, bringing a nod of acknowledgement from Gadji Magomedov. So into the third round. Mention the fact that this is a repeat of the Tokyo Olympic final. Is La Cruz scoring with a double left jab and a piercing right cross gets between the defenses of Gadji Magomedov. They also met in the 2023 Mohammed VI trophy in Marrakech, Morocco. Where La Cruz won on a 4 1 split decision victory to go 2 0 ahead in what is becoming a significant rivalry. Good work to the body from La Cruz. Then right hook upstairs. Gaji Magomedov trying to establish his left jab. Short with the left right once again and made to miss once more. And that will tie you out. Then landing solidly on flesh and bone. But La Cruz, 34 years of age. The bidding for his fourth Olympic Games in Paris next year is again he continues to sway and weave away from the punches, making Gaji Magomedov miss by millimeters. And again, K1 
continuing to rely on those reflexes that remain razor sharp despite his length of time at the pinnacle of IBA style boxing. His first Olympic Games, he lost at the quarter-final stage to Yamaguchi Falcao. I was in the XL Arena to commentate on that contest and he lost the first round when trying to box in his characteristic manner on the back foot and to his credit he tried to turn things around as he scores with a good right uppercut and get on the front foot and take it to Yamaguchi Falcao but he ended up getting bested and was eliminated without any championship hardware but then he started that magnificent run oh and he goes down to the canvas but he's been ruled a slip as the feet became tangled with those of Muslim Gaji Magomedov so less than a minute to go in this round as he continues to seemingly hang his, hang his chin, chin out to dry but has the reflexes to pull away from the incoming fire from Gaji Magomedov because again from that first world championships in Baku 2011 through to the world championships in 2023 10 global events between world championships and olympic games and this man has won seven of them five world championship golds and consecutive olympic titles in rio and tokyo that gives you an idea as to this man's majesty mostly at light heavyweight but now as a 92 kilogram heavyweight as well scoring effectively to the body muslim gaji magomedov continuing to be active with his hands but his proportion of landed punches very low indeed and that is because julio cesar la cruz continues to present a mirage it appears as though he's there to be hit but when you let your hands go you're landing on nothing because invariably he has pulled his head or bobbed and weaved out of the way some of the action from that third round again just turning his chin at the last moment here's a right hand over the top which was a success from Gaji Magomedov followed by a glancing left jab and again La Cruz continuing to stand with his hands contemptuously low and that ruled a slip May well have been a shot involved there, but no knockdown. So three rounds completed, a potential two rounds to go in this brand new territory in this particular rivalry. Both men operating in the professional ranks as well. Muslim Gaji Magomedov had his only professional contest in December of 2012 and he stopped his opponent in the second of a scheduled six rounds putting his man down twice in the second round forcing before forcing the stoppage as for Julio Cesar La Cruz well expansive experience in WSB boxing as Gaji Magomedov scores with a shot to the body and now La Cruz on the front foot looking to back up the reigning world championship gold medalist but La Cruz, so much experience in the five round format of WSB boxing between 2013 and 2018, representing the Cuba Domadores. But also, he's got a pair of bouts under his belt. Oh, that's a beautiful right uppercut twice in quick succession from La Cruz. But after this 60 year moratorium on professional boxing in Cuba was lifted. In May of 2020, in Aguascalientes in Mexico, while Julio Cesar La Cruz competed on that. Two bouts under his belt, two victories, both of them inside the distance. And so there really isn't a facet of boxing that he is uncomfortable with. He competed in a previous, most recent Champions Night in the IBA Pro Series in Phuket, putting his Rival on the floor, rabbit punch almost called La Cruz to bend, lose his balance, staying in the pocket and scoring to both head and body once again. And this is real daredevil stuff, like watching a high wire act when La Cruz is in the boxing ring. On the disengagement, he scores with a right hand over the top and then leads off the attack there for a moment of first and third boxing. 
Gaji Magomedov having successes of his own, but I don't think he's having as many successes as La Cruz, who is going through the gears, gears with a fusillade of punches once again, and asking for support from the Russian supporters here, spectators here in Serpuhov, who will invariably be backing their man, Muslim Gaji Magomedov, as he makes him miss with a dramatic layback at the waist once again, before coming back with a right hand over the top. Two rivals who know one another inside out as Muslim Gaji Magomedov remains in search of the key that will unlock the defenses of Julio Cesar La Cruz. Made to miss with a two shot salvo once again. Pecking right hand not too far away from the body of Gaji Magomedov from La Cruz. And then the two men just exchanging a brief eye to eye glare, perhaps trying to discern how the other man is feeling. La Cruz. As is his want, remaining on his feet in between rounds. That goatee and close crop fade now matching his golden grill. Dyed. The colour which has become so accustomed in his boxing career for this Champions Night here in Serkuhov. So again, see hitting without reply. One scoring shot during the course of that exchange and then uppercut nudged underneath. First and third boxing once again as La Cruz is so eye-catching and so clear when he scores that it's very easy to register in the mind of the judges. So he remaining standing between rounds as the fifth and final round underway. I have to think that Julio Cesar La Cruz is in front in this contest. Muslim Gaji Magomedov being cheered on by his compatriots here in Sapuhov. Beginning the round behind a left jab, but La Cruz flat footed and again standing in front of his man, dipping at the knees, bending at the waist, turning that torso. Wonderfully dexterous fighter who, deep into his IBA boxing career, remains. Well, he may not be as razor sharp as he was, but he's still sharper than the majority of the entire world. Oh, beautiful counter right hand again after twisting that torso like he's exercising his obliques. Made his man miss by turning left and right and then came back with a right hand counter without reply. Minute gone in this final round. And Gaji Magomedov, well, you can guarantee that he will demonstrate the qualities that have taken him to the top of the modium, medal podium twice in Aiba global competition. But he's meeting his match and indeed then some in La Cruz because he too has occupied that rarefied territory on numerous occasions. And that is why it's so compelling when champions face off in any sport, but particularly boxing. Because in addition, in addition to the skill and the conditioning, it's the intangibles of will and heart and tenacity and the sheer cussedness of not giving in. Each man knows that they're facing a boxer, an athlete with those type of qualities in abundance as well. And that is why we are being treated to the riveting contest we're witnessing here. Rather untidy exchange, but a right hand did get through from La Cruz inside the final minute. And I think, for what it's worth, that the onus is on Gaji Magomedov to do something drastic and dramatic in the remaining seconds. It's almost unbeatable in World Series boxing, and the three losses that he endured, well, I commentated on the majority of them of his WSB bouts and they were always close to the point of being contentious and that left hand from La Cruz put Gaji Magomedov on unsteady legs fatigue becoming an increasing factor now and when you're tagged by a crisp left hook from a punch picker as accurate as La Cruz when it checked the chin of Gaji Magomedov remember he put Reyes, Emmanuel Reyes Pla on the floor in the Champions Night in Phuket with a beautifully timed pull counter right hand La Cruz. Both men have remained upright throughout the entirety of the five three-minute rounds. Muslim Gaji Magomedov raising his right hand 
because he thinks he has finally got the better of Julio Cesar La Cruz. I have to say, it's not a perspective that I shared from my commentary position, but it was a competitive, compelling encounter indeed. How will the five scoring judges see it? Both men have given absolutely everything. Muslim Gaji Magomedov hoping to be declared the victor in this, his third contest against Julio Cesar La Cruz. And it made for the most compelling spectacle. Despite giving away inches, La Cruz content to remain flat-footed and back his legendary reflexes to make his man miss and then make him pay as he did there. I think he had the greater number of successes. I think his ring generalship was superior. And I think those things combined, for my money, should see him declared as the victor here, but we will be relying on the verdict of the five judges seated ringside. How will they regard what has transpired over five pulsating three-minute rounds of boxing in the heavyweight division? So, La Cruz flashing that golden grill. And again, wonderful to see that sportsmanship between two familiar rivals. The verdict can't be too far away. And in the presence of the IBA president, Umar Kremlev, this champion's night of action in Serpukov has concluded with a bout of the highest quality between superstars of the IBA code. So our MC Rishi Panaka is in position to deliver the official verdict. Which way is it going to go? This bout comes to a close after completing five three mid rounds in a men's heavyweight 92 kg division matchup. Before we go to the judges' scorecard, we'd like to kindly take a moment and invite our very special guest into the center of the ring. Please help me welcome the Odogu, the president of the Nigerian Boxing Federation, Mr. Azania Omo Agege. And gentlemen, Damai Gaspada, this battle comes to a close after completing five three minute rounds in a men's heavyweight plus a 92 kg matchup. This bout was officially brought to you by the home of global boxing under the visionary guidance of Mr. Umar Nazarovich Kremlev in association with Patriot Boxing. This bout was brought to you by our general sponsor, general sponsor Vechera Boxer Noch, champion of IBA, Liga Stavok. And now for the official judge's decision. After giving me five three minute rounds, in a men's heavyweight plus a 92 kg matchup. All your judges see it the same way. Ruling in favor of your winner by points, declared by unanimous decision. And still, the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world is Machkala Dagestana Rossiya Muslim Gachi Maga Miedo. So, Muslim Gaji, Muslim Gaji Magomedov declared a unanimous point decision victor, victor over Julio Cesar La Cruz. I have to confess, it's not how I saw the contest, but that is irrelevant. Julio Cesar La Cruz in his third contest against Muslim Gaji Magomedov coming out on the losing side of the decision for the first time. Muslim Gaji Magomedov taking it for all five of the scoring judges. Again, not to make too much of it, in the presence of Arta Beta Biev, 2009 World Championship gold medalist and the unified light heavyweight champion of the world with that 100% KO record. I think La Cruz is a little bit unlucky there, but the verdict will stand, and it's Muslim Gaji Magomedov. 
the reigning IBA world champion, having boxed his way to a brilliant gold medal in Tashkent earlier this summer, makes it a magnificent conclusion to the summer by finally getting a victory over his familiar rival. And again, I think the Cruz can consider himself rather unlucky to come out on the wrong end of a unanimous point decision in that particular contest. But the result will stand, and it's Muslim Gaji Magomedov who concludes this nine-bout card with a unanimous point decision verdict over Julio Cesar La Cruz. Well, what a night of action it has been on this Champions Night of Boxing in Serpukov. Remember, it's IBA International Boxing Day tomorrow. We've had nine bouts across welter, light middle, light heavy, light welter, lightweight, heavyweight and super heavyweight. We began the night. Igor Nazarov dropping a 3-2 split decision victory.